Okay, Jay here. I'm going to show you how to check uh, your charging system on your Nissan or Infiniti. Basically, the voltage readings I'm going to tell you are pretty much the same for both models. Um, basically, checking the alternator, just making sure it's putting out the correct amount of voltage. Pretty easy. All you need is a voltmeter, and all you need to do is really just connect it to the battery. And I'll explain why you do it this way after which I show you. All right, so. First thing you need to do is have your voltmeter set on voltage and you connect your leads to your battery. Okay, so then you have your negative to your negative, you have your positive to your positive, and you should get around 14.3 volts. Alright, so 14.3 volts, this alternator is charging properly. But now you want to load test it too. So to load test it, you want to go in, turn your headlights on, turn your air on, air on, and rear defroster. So now you put on all the main electrical loads for the charging system, and you're still around 4.3, 4.2 means this alternator is charging properly. Okay, so around 14.3 volts is what you're supposed to see. And with the loads, you really shouldn't drop below 14 volts. It should be around where you're seeing it right now. So that's how you properly load testing in a, a charging system. Now, as far as alternators go, if you get it aftermarket, aftermarket alternators don't tend to last if you even get one that works. A lot of times they don't work. So being the location of this alternator, not quite that easy. I strongly suggest you get an alternator from the dealer. Um, do it once, do it right. This way you're not gonna have any charging system problems. I've seen many times where people put aftermarket alternators in and they don't work right out of the box. So that's how you check the charging system, by using a simple volt. Thank you.